Well, let's talk about this border boy and the speed that it in matter again. So now we have uh, been getting some mixed reaction concerning the whole issue. Nigerians partly are supporting Bonner Boy, while some other set are also supporting Speedality. Some are even saying that uh, Bonner Boy kind of like uh, step on Speedality freedom of speech. Why some are saying no, speed dialing, this is not freedom of speech, this is straight accusation. You know, they are trying to differentiate freedom of speech from what speed dialing said. We see some celebrities supporting Bonner Boy, why some activists not supporting Bonner Boy, and some Nigerians supporting Bonner Boy, and some Nigerians not supporting Bonner Boy. Firstly, before I jump down into it and they dig deep, I want to play this video, guys. I want to play this video. For Lagos, everybody be the OG, Odogun Kane and Cause. Odogun no be nickname, Odogun a masquerade name. Leave my fucking language alone, you dumb fucker. You wanna be Igbo, but you're not one of us. All the road, now me get that sound. Shot over there. Now for Lagos, everybody they threaten. Then go match your face. Then go, then go, then go. Oh no, but now be Baba and Lagos. Come in the state, all the road, you make an R on that shit, bullet in you, motherfucker. I don't even do it myself, man. You get something road, you are going to carry you pass. It will happen to you. Don't come to my comment section and threaten me. Nigga, I'm the real, bro. I'm a dog. Is this a civil case or a criminal case, guys? Please enlighten me because I talk now. Person will say I talk again. Is this a civil case or a criminal case? Somebody said bullet in you. I will not be the one to able do it. I will send people to come and buy you. Is it a civil case or a criminal case? Somebody come on live to say bullet in you. I will not able be the one to do it. I will send people to come and buy you. Is it a civil case or a criminal issue? If somebody threatens to take your life, is it a civil case or a criminal matter? Don't you know? Abroad, I've seen where somebody threatened to, to, to hand another person's life. That person immediately took up arms and defended himself. Even before that person, who even claimed to want to inflate such thing? Even before that person even carry any arm, that other person that they threatened already picked his, pick his own arms and, and uh, defended him or herself. I've seen. So guys, be honest. Is this a civil case or a criminal case? You know, shortly after Speed Dalitin mother came on life to apologize, she knows exactly what Speed Dalitin did was absolutely wrong. One thing of people fighting activists, uh, activists fighting for people, eh? Eh? we should know exactly what they are, they are fighting for. They shouldn't just fight for anybody because of some certain things. This guy made a straight threat towards Bonner Boy. Maybe some people have not seen that video. He said, bullet in you. I will be the one to do it. What does that mean? He won't buy Bonner Boy now. And he said, no being good one. So you mean Bonner Boy shouldn't file a criminal case against him? That is a criminal offense now. A civil offense doesn't involve somebody coming online to say bullet in you. I won't be, even be the one to do it. <sighs> That's a criminal offense now. It's no longer civil. Hmm? See, Nigeria activism eh, should be based on crews alone. You understand? What Bonner Boy did 
I used to say it wasn't right, but later I could say, hmm, let me now look at it very well. I'm beginning to think maybe he did the right thing. Just maybe Bonner Boy did the right thing. Bonner Boy wrote a petition. I even I never ever expected. You know, before this whole petition came out, I used to think Bonner Boy was the one that sent boys to Speed Dalitin as well to pick up Speed Dalitin and took him to an unknown location. That was how I reacted. That was the I thought that was the information. So I was reacting based on that and also calling out Bonaboy's name. But later I discovered that Dodogu write petition follow the rules and rules of engagement. So whatever policemen did, that is police work. It's no longer Odogu's fault. Because Odogu did exactly what everybody expected him to do, wrote a petition. So now I'm beginning to wonder, why are you guys blasting Bonaboy for? Let's reason now. Why would they blast Bonaboy for doing the right thing? Writing a petition. It's just that police they overdo their job. Because in a Bonaboy, police, because normally when you write a petition, you are supposed to invite the other party to come and defend himself before. Maybe if that other party refused to come, you will rewrite again at informing him again. I think up to three to four times. Then you cannot instigate an arrest. You cannot say, okay, let us go and arrest. But there are time police, they overdo their work because of the person involved. But honestly speaking, if Bonaboy wrote a petition, uh, that means he's extremely calm. He never really followed the ghetto area. He was trying to follow the, the right path. He didn't do the ghetto path. So let us also clap for Bonaboy. Boy. You understand? Let's clap for Bonaboy Boy for not looking the other way and doing some unnecessary actions. Something that involved cultists. Because I was, my guy was able to suggest to say, why Bonaboy they go police? Bonaboy for just come some guys. Maybe they go catch ca this guy, go one corner, tie a eye, beat, beat him many eye, release him again for street so that he go go. Then he go learn how to keep his mouth shut. Hmm? That was what I, my, my friend told me. I said, no, nah, you know, go bam like that. We should clap for Bonaboy for following the right path. Writing a petition, I, let's be honest, you don't think say Bonaboy will write petition against anybody. Don't you feel like it's a little, we, uh, that seems a little like less. Bonaboy made the form say, now I get all the street credibility. The person is sort of wrong, go police. And he actually did the right thing. Let us speak the truth now. Firstly, when I wrote, uh, when I saw the information, eh, I was still Bonaboy, I beg, release but now, there is no need for me to blame or bash Bonaboy. The guy tried. The guy tried. You guys need to even listen to the other uh, 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 talk from, from uh, Speed Dalitin. Insulting Bonaboy's mom. Insulting the guy's mom. That is a no-go area now. That is a no-go area. Speed Dalitin were coming 
unto Bonaboy in a ghetto style. Bonaboy was supposed to respond in a ghetto way as well. Let's get that straight. Speed dialing wasn't coming for Bonaboy like using authorities or maybe using the system. It was coming onto Bonaboy from the ghetto area. I'm G'd up. I'm a guy. I said, I did can't believe nothing they happened. But Bonaboy took the other way. The responsible way. Bonaboy took the way of the authorities. And now we're going to bash Bonaboy for that. Where is the justice? No, where is the justice now? Where is the justice? For those of us who claim that we are speaking the right thing. Where is the justice? This guy talked too much. He talked over talk the word. He said, me Bonaboy go, go and sleep with the mama. We take that kind of talk really seriously, serious over here. In abroad, you can say that and they're going to be like, ah. But over here, we take it really, really serious. So please, uh, Bonaboy, clap. I see, I, I hail you for going to the other side, like going to the authorities to report. You understand? Because this guy was coming onto you in a ghetto way, but you decide to ignore him and move the other way. Big up, guy.